6 right now. Yes, talking about fireworks, 4th of July, next week. I know, right? Already. <sighs> it's on that 10-day forecast. It's actually already almost completely through that 10-day Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's sneaking up on us, mm -hmm. and it, it's looking very summer-like, just like the last couple days have mm -hmm. been very summer-like, and the next couple days are going to be very summer-like. If you were watching a little bit earlier, I told you guys those clouds were kind of keeping our temperatures comfortable. Well, check it out right now. A live look over Shim Creek. See all that blue sky out there? Well, once we get the sun out and those clouds completely break apart, which I do expect in the next about an hour or so, these temperatures are going to skyrocket very quickly. We are at 81 right now on Shim Creek. Regionally, temperatures very comfortable at this point. We're 81 in Charleston, 82 on Johns Island, 82 in Walterboro as well, 80 in Somerville, 81 in Monks Corner. Now we are finally up into the 80s, Somerville up to King Street. You've been in the 70s for most of the day. You've now officially crossed over to that 80 degree mark. Your feel like temperature, though, doesn't have anything to do with the sunshine. It's about the humidity in the atmosphere or what it feels like on your skin as you head on out. Feels like 85 in Charleston, already feels like 88 on Johns Island and Folly Beach. Feels like 87 on Sullivan's Island right now. So, definitely another very warm afternoon. We're not talking any dangerous heat, but make sure you're still drinking that water and taking frequent breaks. Afternoon highs today heading into the mid 90s for most of us, and then we'll start to see those showers and thunderstorms pop up by later on this afternoon. Here's a quick look at your highs today. Temperatures generally into the mid 90s for most of us, a couple low 90s into Walterboro and King Street, upper 80s as you head towards the coastline. 90 in Somerville for your afternoon high, but it's going to feel a couple degrees warmer than that once you factor in the humidity. Now, there is a chance for a couple pop up showers and thunderstorms. It's not as high of a chance as we've seen over the the last couple days, but there is that chance out there, and some of those storms could become strong to even severe, especially 95 southward. Wind and hail are going to be the main threats. Here's a look at your future cast model showing those showers and thunderstorms pushing on in about 3, 4 o'clock and hanging out into the low country through your evening commute. So be prepared. You're going to be dodging a couple showers here and there. And again, some of those could produce some heavy downpours and lightning. Those are the main threats with these as we head into your evening hours. Now, look at the next couple days. This is your beach forecast. We will see temperatures into the 80s across the board. Slight chance for a shower and thunderstorm each and every afternoon. And as we take a look at that inland forecast, we're going to see temperatures into the mid 90s over the next couple days. 90s as we head into your holiday weekend as well, with a chance for a shower and thunderstorms. Small chance for showers and thunderstorms each and every afternoon.